I am going to be making Alison Ryman. I've recently found her. I know I'm very late to the party. And I'm probably going to make her shallot pasta one day this week because that's been a little favourite of mine at the moment. I am going to make her charred citrus chicken. And it just looks so good. The thing we need to do is we need to marinate it. So I need to make the marinade, which is very juicy. We need. We got this wed lime, lemon, and orange juice up for our wedding, and it's so flipping good. Um, and it's got little cup measurements on the side. So I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna have to juice for quite some time. I'm currently cooking some short grain rice to go with it um, and then I have put the sauce in there with the citrus and we're just going to cook that down and I've prepped my chopped herbs as well I also added some extra veggies I kind of feel like I'd like some broccoli or green beans with this and their extra juice but we don't have any it didn't account for any veggies so I've just added whatever veggies we have there we go Citrus chicken, sticky rice, and fresh herbs, and a burnt finger. It's breakfast time, and it's something that my husband and I love to do more than anything is a little morning pastry, which is normally our weekend treat. I feel like at this point I have tried just about every supermarket. So I've done m and I've tried Sainsbury's, I've tried the prep ones. I have tried, I don't think I've tried the Tesco ones actually, and then I saw that this brand, which is called Picard, I think that's how I pronounce it, is actually a French frozen brand. It's basically like a fancy equivalent in France of Iceland, way fancier. But they just do frozen food, and I thought, well, if this is French, then surely they're going to be really good. So I tested them out. But I actually think the best like supermarket owned ones are Sainsbury's. And then the best other one is prep, the chocolate hazelnut ones. Um, but they taste so much better than like ones that you just get pre-baked. They're warm, they're slightly more like stodgy and squidgy. So I'm gonna bake some of these for breakfast today. Look how good those look. I mean, come on. I don't think words can say how happy a fresh croissant in the morning makes me. I have a bit of butter and jam, but I also take Nutella, but we do not have Nutella in that, so. Oh my goodness, it's so like soft yet crispy, and just, although I do think Sainsbury's, although actually Aldi's were pretty good too. Get a little bit of raspberry bon maman, shove that in there. This is the best jam, and you can't really try and convince me otherwise. And, oh my gosh, actually the black jerry bon maman. <gasps> Do you know what I'm just thinking of? Advent calendars. You remember last year? Was it last year that I got the jam advent calendar or the year before? I, one of my favourite videos to make is when I do my advent calendar hunt every year. It just makes me so happy and I can't wait to do that this year. So any advent calendar suggestions, do let me know. Stranning. Hello, it is lunchtime now and I'm going back to my favourite book and I've never actually tried any of the other cookbooks of hers but I feel like I should because of how much I flipping love this one. They're just so easy yet delicious that they don't require lots of washing up so that's that's great. Um, so this is a prep 15 minutes, cook 45 minutes. I feel like my mother, I flipping love fresh herbs. They just, they really do elevate any dish. If you're not pop and fresh herbs and things, then sort yourself out. So I'm actually doing chicken stock because I don't have any fish stock and sometimes you have to adapt. I also didn't want to buy fish stock because I wouldn't use it enough and I know it probably does change the flavour quite a bit, but I'm, I'm actually don't mind that it won't taste too fishy. I'm kind of, I don't know how to feel about a super fishy tasting soup. Okay, the lid is going on and then it goes in the oven for 30 minutes. I have just taken it out of the oven and now we add some bean sprouts huh. and some rice noodles. Oh my goodness, this looks so flipping good. I had a little taste as I was making it, it's so yummy. That was a good recipe, would definitely eat that again. Out of 10? Nine. What would take it to a 10? 
Not sure. <laughs> Just gotta keep us keep me on my toes, that's Big, why. Bigger stomach. <laughs> really? Dinner tonight, we are making Alison Roman's caramelized shallot pasta. This is so flipping good, and what's good about it is it uses a lot of things you probably already have to hand. And I do do a little cheat because you're supposed to use shallots, but I accidentally bought frozen shallots like weeks and weeks ago, and I was like, "What am I going to do with all these frozen shallots?" Typed in shallot shallot recipes, came across this, and actually, it's almost better because I can make this in an emergency when I have nothing else to hand because the shallots are always in the freezer. I am on the stage of like caramelising the garlic and the shallots and I've added in the anchovies. It smells so flipping good. I also don't have tomato paste so I'm trying it today with this which isn't going to be the same but we're just going to have to work with it. go bada boom bada bing not super exciting but sometimes you have to have these dinners for dinner tonight i'm cooking something i've never cooked before i'm doing ribs and i don't know when i'm posting these videos do let me know do you like to see me talk through the recipe a bit more do you like it with music and like captions on screen or do you just like it when i show the finished product and the recipe that i've used um, do let me know because I would find it very interesting to find out. But anyway, the start of the show this week, I feel like I always pick a different recipe for person to be a fan of. Um, but I'm using Alison Roman's Spice Bray Short Ribs with Cream and Potatoes. However, there were no short ribs, so <laughs> they are long ribs. I've already pre cooked them. Oh gosh, I feel like my potatoes. My potatoes smell like they're burning. So I've got my potatoes boiling off there. I've got the onions and the garlic cooking. I'm just about to add the spices to that. So I have half the recipe. This is the thing that I've really struggled to do is adapting to cooking for only two people. Because at home, I never would cook for only two people. So it's been quite a few adjustments. Coriander seeds, cumin, fennel, cinnamon, salt, pepper. Now we just take some tomato paste. This is the a bit of a bummer with this recipe is it takes so long in the oven once you've done all of this. So I think we might have a bit of a late dinner today. Okay, this is what the ribs are currently looking like. I've really had to adapt the recipe because we didn't have a lot of things that were needed. Um, so I don't know how these are going to turn out. I feel like I should have picked a recipe that I had everything for. But now it says to scatter with half of the lemon for the recipe, which feels like a very interesting thing to put with ribs, but I trust Alison, so we're going for it. Okay, they have been in for an hour. As you can see, the lovely sauce is cooking down a bit. It has been about, I think, three hours now. We've had a long, slow cook. And I'm hoping they're going to be nice and soft. Oh, that smells really good. It says to leave the lid off for half an hour and to cook them. I'm just hoping that the ribs are soft and haven't disintegrated into nothing. Oh, it's looking good. We have to wait for all the liquid to kind of go. Although my potatoes have kind of gone a bit mashed, but it's still looking phenomenal. Dinner is a lot, lot later tonight. It's nearly eight o'clock which is so much later than I normally eat. What time do you normally eat your dinner? I feel like normally it's around 6.30. That's like my go-to. But alas, not tonight. We have to wait for these ribs. 
I normally rush recipes, but I was like, no, I'm going to do this one properly. And I got home later than I thought, so I'm just waiting. I also don't, I didn't really think what to have with it. I think I might just cook some couscous, because that worked really nice with the lamb tagine the other day. On the back of couscous, it tells you two different ways to cook it. And I remember the first time I made couscous, I did the way where it says to stir and simmer in a pan for five minutes. Do not do that under any circumstances. If you are cooking couscous, do it this way, which is, I'm going to show you here. If you ever need a little reference, reference, you want to just basically pour your boiling water. I add some salt, pepper, a stock cube, and a little bit of olive oil, and it just takes it to whole new heights. So that's what I'm going to have with our little rips. So I did my oil, salt, pepper, and I'm actually not going to put a stock cube in because I think that our little ribs have enough flavour and juice to kind of spice it up a bit. So now we just pour over the hot water. You just want to give it a little mix through, put a plate on it or cover it up and wait for about 10 minutes and you'll have a perfect couscous. So we've had our 10 minutes and then you just like fluff it up like this. You see? And then we have some gorgeous couscous. Okay, here are the ribs. They look so good and sticky and caramelized. There we go. I feel like I shouldn't have done couscous with it, but it is what it is. For today's last meal, sometimes you have to be lazy. I thank so dearly whoever it was that invented stir fry kits because they are the best quick easy meal like when you just need something in a hurry um and i got this prawn stir fry but i thought we would try a different sauce and i thought we could review that together and see how it is <clears throat> so this is a spiced turmeric and ginger sauce warming and aromatic i have no idea what it's going to be like but we'll give it a try i want to know a stir fry kit's just a thing in england i don't know you know, it was like when I told a vlog about meal deals, everyone like, what's a meal deal? What's a meal deal? And I just couldn't imagine the world without a meal deal. So, do you know about stir fries? They just want to pick up an extra shift at the factory. If you know what that is from, your elite. Bosh, veggies in. If anyone watches my extra grap vlogs, which is basically a vlog channel where I post lots of little like mundane daily vlogs, um, then you will have seen this, but I went to wing it and I got this um, crispy chilli in oil and look at how much has gone. I didn't even get it that long ago. It's down to there. Um, it's safe to say Mr. Grack flipping loves this, so I'm going to put this out on the table because I imagine he's going to have this with his dinner. Noodly doodlies are going in. Sauce is going in. There you go. All done. Ta-da! I'm just gonna chuck some sesame seeds on there because I feel like it just makes it a bit more fancy. Some spring onions would really take it to the next level and a little bit of coriander mm. and make it look chili nice. What did I say? I knew this would be happening. Mm. A little bit of the crispy chili. What are you saying? So it needs some, some spiciness. Oh yeah. A bit of MSG. Mm, exactly. And that is the end of everything that I cooked this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know, A, what videos you want to see. Do you want to see some travel stuff? Are there any like fun challenges you want me to do? Any more of these like recipe things? And another thing is when I do these recipes in the week, do you want me to talk through each recipe, like make each section longer, showing the recipe, showing how to cook it? Or do you literally just want to see a really short video of like, his recipe? this is what it looks like, would I have it again? Do let me know, I'd love to know. Um, I hope you're all fantastic and having a great, great week. And I hope you enjoyed a Sunday video. Let me know if you like a Sunday or a Monday. We're out here trying some new things. Have a good one.